In this tutorial, you are going to cover the basic of Pandas. It is the most popular Python library for data processing. We are here in the Google Lab in the GitHub section. If you go here and type my name, Vitor Kamada, you can access my Python notebooks. And let's open the notebook here from today's lecture. Pandas introductions to series. First, we import NumPy as NP and import pandas as PD. Let's create a sequence of numbers. S equal PD series, then we put in the numbers 10, 11, 12, 13. This PD is the pandas. The term series connected the index 0 to 10, the index 1 to 11, index 2 to 12, index 3 to 13. Now, let's select the individual element, for example, with index 3. The result is the value 13. Now, let's select multiple items from index 2 to 4. Python returned the index 2 and 3. It's important to note that the index 2 is included, but 4 is not included. Now, let's assign the value 0 to the index 1. See the result. Now, the index 1 has value 0. We also can define a series using the NumPy arrays. Let's define an array equal NumPy array, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, let's define S1 equal PD series and use the array created by NumPy. The result is that you have index 0 with value 1, index 1 with value 2, index 2 with value 3, and index 3 with value 4. It's very important to remember that NumPy array is passed by reference. That means if you change the array, the series will be changed. Let's see an example. Let's assign the value 0 to array index 2. See that we change the array, but not the series. But if you see the index 2 of the series, now the value is 0. Let's filter the values. I want to see only the values above 1. That's why I put the condition S1 bigger than 1. Python returns only the index 1 and 3 with values 2 and 4. Remember that index 2 now is 0. That's why it didn't show up here. Now, let's divide the series S1 by 2. The result is that each value of the series was divided by 2. We also can use NumPy to transform the series. Let's take the logarithm of the series S1. Python return the logarithm of each value of the series. See that for index 2, it's returned minus infinite, because the logarithm of a value closer to 0 goes to minus infinite. Remember that minus infinite is not a number that you can work as a data. Let's create a series with a not a number. For example, this is a typical case of missing values. S2 equal PD series 1, 2, and for index 2, let's put NumPy, not a number. And for index 3, 4. The result is, for index 2, we have not a number. For a real data set, it's very common to have a bunch of missing values. That means a bunch of is not a number. And how to identify the index without a value or number? After the series S2, just type dot is null. Python return false, it's a value. And if it's not a value, Python return true. See that for index 2, we have it true, because we created this as not a number. 